So if you're new to gardening, brand new, and you see everybody's established, flourishing yards, it's kind of off-putting. And often your question is, but I've never gardened in my life. Where on earth should I start? So let's make that the subject of this video. G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So, you've never grown anything at all, but you want a bit of success, obviously. If you start growing things and you don't have any success, you're going to give up. All right. Oh, my goodness, that's a bit of turmeric. Look, it came up in my, one of my fruit trees, in the orange tree of all places. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry about that. Um, where do I start? What's the absolute beginner plant? Well, let me suggest to you you should start with herbs. Uh, that's lemon balm, that particular herb That there. big boomer of a bush is bush basil. Um, down there we've got chives. They happen to be garlic chives. Um, now tomatoes are technically a fruit, but I almost call them a herb as well because they're pretty easy. Now we eat a lot. You can see there's some shallots in the middle of the screen there. A lot more chives. That grass is lemongrass. So we eat a lot of curry. So one of the things I always grow is lemongrass because I use it to make my own curry paste. Um, the turmeric goes in the curry paste. So what I'm suggesting to you is start with herbs because they're easy. Um, you can grow them in a pot. You don't have to have a lot of room to grow a herb. Um, I also happen to put that leaf there in the middle now is curry leaf. Um, it's oh, well for me it's a herb. <laughs> it's actually a tree, but don't worry about that. At the bottom of it you can see galangal, which is uh, pretty much Thai ginger. Um, there's proper ginger there. Uh, there's chilies. Chilies are pretty easy to grow too. Now the reason I'm suggesting you do that as your first run is you're guaranteed to have a success and you're guaranteed to use your herbs and once you start using it it's like an automatic feed, feedback loop you'll love it really adds a whole new element to all your cooking um, and suddenly you'll feel like a gardening success and pretty soon before you know it you'll be moving on to other plants and where once you had one or two pots all of a sudden, you've got 485 pots triple stacked on your unit balcony. But don't let that worry you. Uh, that's rosemary. That's Australian thyme. That's actually a native plant. It's not proper thyme. Um, so hopefully, if you're a brand new gardener, thinking, scratching your head, saying, what on earth, where do you start? And every time I see someone's garden, it puts me right off because look at all the stuff they're growing. Don't be put off, folks. Start with the herbs. They're hardy and you're bound to have success and you're bound to use it. Talk of the devil, there's a red Panama passion fruit down there. I'll take that in. Weigh it for shed wars. So <laughs> hopefully that's a fair dinkum, practical, very helpful tip for brand new gardeners. All right, well, you have a good one. If you like what you see on this on the, the channel, there's a lot of clips. There's cooking clips, growing clips, aquaponics clips, all manner of clips on this show, to, um, channel. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. All right, folks, you have a good one, eh? Uru. So I thought today we could have a little About chat. bananas. So this is a super dwarf. So they only grow to 1.2 metres at the, at the tallest. And what I'm doing, you really... They say have three in any clump. So you have the mother, which is the one that's going to give you the bananas. Then you have a mid-sized pup and a tiny pup. Um, as you can see down low there, they tend to pup with pretty much abandon. Uh, haven't had bananas off them yet, but the good news is you can just cut really 
what you're growing is all this root mass under here that's what's important the plant really isn't as important now I know that sounds silly but it's deadly true so what I've done is I've taken a clump of five out of the grow bag using a sharp spade over there I've cut it up into three bits so there's two of the bits I'm going to put one of those each in the grow bag and the other one let's take you over to the building site you can see I've planted him in the building site now right behind him is a the opposite sort of variety now that tree's only a, probably two months at the most old that's a blue java so they're known for being extremely tall behind that if we can get past the roses uh, where is he oh there he is right in the middle of the screen that's a Cavendish and way over on the other side there is a ladyfinger so and you can see the ladyfingers pupped as well hopefully you can see that uh, where is it oh look I can see the Cavendish is also pupped down low you can see that green looks like a vine growing up that's a pup and the same on the other side if you can see it in the dark um, they do like a well-drained soil um, which the building site is extremely well drained unfortunately well fortunately for the bananas um, and they do like a lot of water so you've got to keep the water up to them um, but make sure they're not waterlogged all right so I just thought I'd show you that tell you break up and spread your bananas folks so there we have it one in the ground and we'll swing over here two complete pots one with two one with a, a big one and a pup um, and one with three believe it or not that pot's actually got three plants in it so hopefully that's been helpful for anyone who's wanting to spread some banana love all right folks you have a good one eh Uru.